Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Raghavendra. Today we are going with a lamina problem. A pentagonal lamina having get just 25 mm is placed on one of its corner on VP such that the surface makes an angle of 30 degree with VP and perpendicular bisector of the edge passing through the corner on which the lamina rests is inclined at 45 degree to HP. Draw the top and front views of the lamina. So it is a pentagonal lamina of 25 mm side. It is resting on VP with one of its corners. So corner has to come towards left side. Surface makes an angle of 30 degree with respect to VP. That is phi is equal to 30 degree. Whereas perpendicular bisector makes an angle of 45 degree with respect to HP. So theta is equal to 45 degree. As it is only perpendicular bisector, it has a locus problem. So draw a horizontal line and name it as XY VP HP. Now it is resting on BP with one of its corner. So construct a pentagon above the XY line that is resting on BP with its corner. So it will be 25, 0, 25, 72, 25, 72 into 2, 25, 72 into 3. Join this one. So to understand how to construct a pentagon resting on corner like this, go through my previous videos. This will be 25 mm. A dash. B dash. C dash. D dash. And this will be E dash. Now project the points in downward direction. A dash to X Y line. E dash to X Y line. E dash to X Y line. Join these endpoints with thick line. This is A. E is visible. So this will be E in the bracket B and D is visible. So D in the bracket C. Show the arrow marks. This completes the first portion. For the second portion, surface makes an angle of 30 degree with respect to VP. That is, the line AD has to make an angle of 30 degree with respect to XY line. This is A, whereas this point will be D in the bracket C. So still we have to get E in the bracket B to get that one. We have to draw an arc of this much that is 14.69 mm radius. So A as center 14.69 mm as radius, draw an arc. This point will be E in the bracket B. Now project in a four direction from A. E in the bracket B, similarly D in the bracket C. A dash is here, A is on this line till this one. B dash to B, C dash to C, D dash to D, E dash to E. This is A dash. B dash, C dash, D dash, and this one will be E dash. Join all the five corners with thick line. Dash. 
b dash to c dash d dash a dash back to a dash show the arrow marks So this completes the second portion. For the third portion, he has given perpendicular bisector makes an angle of 45 degree with respect to HP. So here there is no word of appears to be. So because of that one, perpendicular bisector, what it will be there. So this is the original perpendicular bisector, and this is the second portion. I will extend this one. From A dash to this line. Call this as M dash and this one as M1 dash. Here, A dash M1 dash length is greater. is 38.47 whereas this one will be smaller 33.82 if it is appears to be directly we can take this one and we can start but as it is only perpendicular bisector makes an angle of 45 degree with respect to hp has given so it is a locus problem because the dimension changed now first draw 45 degree line the angle of this line with respect to x y should be 45 no first draw an arc for this much length that is 38.47 mm anywhere on this line as a center 38.47 mm as radius draw an arc so this is m1 dash Thirty-eight point four seven mm is the radius for this one. So from this point, draw horizontal line. Now from the same center, draw another arc of this much radius. That is thirty-three point three two m. From the same center, draw an arc of thirty-three point three two mm radius arc. This will be M dash. Join M dash A dash. This is M dash. A dash will be this center. So once you got A dash and M dash, now construct C dash D dash. C dash D dash is perpendicular to A dash M dash. It is perpendicular to this line. And M dash C dash is equal to M dash D dash, that is 12.5 mm. Now, from M dash, draw a line perpendicular to A dash M dash for a length of 12.5 mm. Make sure that this angle should be 90 degree. Similarly, opposite side also. From M dash. Opposite side also 12.5 mm line. So this will be C dash, whereas this one is D dash. Next, to get B dash and D dash, the length B dash C dash is equal to A dash D dash, which is equals to 22 mm. Now, C dash as center, 22 mm as radius, draw an arc. Similarly, D dash as center, 22 mm as radius, draw another arc. Next, A dash B dash is equal to A dash E dash. The length of that one is equals to 23.89. For that one, A dash as center, 
23.89 mm as radius join arc similarly opposite side also a dash as center 23.89 mm as radius draw another arc Join all the corners with thick line. A dash to this end point. Back to A dash. This end point to D dash. And this will be B dash. Whereas this one is A dash. Project the points in downward direction. From A dash to A, A is on excellent till this one. Before projecting from other corners, project horizontally from here, draw horizontal line. Similarly, from this end point, draw horizontal line. Now from B dash to B is on this line till this line. C dash, C is on this line till this line. D dash, D is on this line till this line. That's from A dash. E is on this line till this line. This is A. B. C. D. And this one will be E. Join all the five corners with a thick line. A to B. To C, to D, E, back to E. Show the arrow marks. So as it is a locus problem, we have to get the apparent angle also. So to get, get that one, extend this A dash M dash line till X Y line. Now measure this A dash M dash line with respect to X Y line. The angle of X Y, angle of line between A dash M dash and X Y. Angle between these two lines, that is 55 degree. So apparent angle in the front view, it is alpha. So it will be, Alpha is equals to 55 degree. So this completes the problem. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel.